Ever wondered how computers can recognize images? How your phone unlocks just by looking at your face? Or how social media platforms can automatically tag your friends in a photo? The answer lies in a sophisticated form of machine learning known as Convolutional Neural Networks or CNNs. Imagine a machine learning model as a factory. Raw materials enter one end and a finished product emerges from the other. In the case of a CNN, the raw material is an image and the finished product is the identification or recognition of what the image contains. The first stage of this process is called the convolutional layer. This is where the CNN begins to break down the image. But instead of seeing the image as a whole, the CNN views it through a series of small overlapping windows known as filters. Each filter scans the image, focusing on different features such as edges, textures, or colors. The result is a collection of feature maps, which are essentially simplified versions of the original image. Next comes the pooling layer, sometimes referred to as downsampling. This step reduces the dimensionality of each feature map while retaining the most important information. Imagine you're looking at a picture of a cat. The pooling layer might discard the details of individual hairs, but it will retain the overall shape and features of the cat. The process of convolution and pooling can happen multiple times in a CNN. This allows the network to identify more complex features at each layer. For instance, the first layer might identify edges and colors. The second layer could recognize basic shapes and so on. After these layers, the CNN transitions to a stage called the fully connected layer. Here, the network will take all the information it has gathered from the previous layers and use it to make a final prediction. In the case of our cat picture, the fully connected layer might consider the presence of ears, whiskers and a tail to conclude that the image indeed contains a cat. Finally, the network uses a function called softmax to give a probability to each possible outcome. In this case, the network might be 98% sure it's a cat, 1% sure it's a dog and so on. These percentages represent the network's confidence in its prediction. So to summarize, CNNs work by breaking down an image into its fundamental features through a series of layers. The convolutional layer identifies features, the pooling layer simplifies these features, and the fully connected layer uses these simplified features to make a final prediction. The softmax function then gives a probability to each possible outcome. Understanding how convolutional neural networks work is crucial to appreciating the complexity and sophistication of image recognition technology. It's a testament to how far we've come in the realm of artificial intelligence and machine learning, and a hint at the exciting possibilities that still lie ahead.